All right, so now we're going to go into restricting content with Restrict Content Pro. Um, and we're going to take a look at some of the features there. I started an awesome free page, as I like to call it, in, in another video. And you can see here that I have this content that comes before the restricted content. And in this case, I'm just restricting a little quote, a little secret to getting ahead is getting started by Mark Twain. Uh, and basically what you're doing here is you're saying, look, at the top of my page or even below my, even below my content. So let's just take a look at that really quick. So I'm just going to put a bunch of content there so we can just see it a little bit better. I'm going to hit update. And this example shows that you can restrict this content within, uh, you know, within the content, you know, basically what I'm saying is inline restriction. So I could restrict all different areas of this page or post. And if you, you have to be a member to register to see it, which is kind of cool. You can think about the opportunities uh, and the creativeness and the cleverness that you can have um, within your membership website, just as example. So let's take a look at this one more time. Here it is. There's the paragraphs below. Uh, and a, uh, above and below, and then there's my quote in the middle. And then once again, if I do open up an incognito window, load this up, you can see that, hey there, this content is available, available for free when you register. But, you know, this isn't as prominent as I'd hope. So let's go back to the dashboard. <clears throat> let's go back to the settings page. And remember, if you watch the first part, of the getting started or you watch the overview video in this editor we can make our uh, message anything we want and you might in fact do something like bold and even go well i think that's it let's go bold actually no let's go underline too so you might go underline so from here what you could do is add maybe a, an image Right, that says, you know, something that entices somebody to say, look, if you want to register for this stuff, you should really, I don't know, <laughs> show a pile of money. I, I, I don't know what the image is. It's not really coming to my head right now. But the idea is you can mix and match and make things that encourage people to register. Now, if I go back and reload this, you can see, hey there, this content is available for free when you register. You might even do something like this just to make it look a little bit more. Uh, you could probably throw some emojis in there too, right? There's emoji keyboards you can copy and paste. I'm not going to show that in this video. But one more time, just for example's sake, boom. You can say here, hey there, this content is available for free when you register. And when they click that, once again, it'll bring them to the registration page. So that's how we restrict content in line. What if I wanted to make this entire post available only to somebody to the freebie subscription, which is the free, uh, the free membership level that I have right now. So when I check that off, I'm going to hit update. And again, it's going to look the same because we're already logged in and we're an admin, but I'm going to refresh. Whoops. Let's go back to that. I'm going to go back to this awesome free page. Now you can see, I can't see the entire page anymore. I get the message that I just edited um, and I can register to access that page. So now you can see the entire page is gone or at least unavailable to somebody who's not registered. So I can also do it sort of maybe the inverse where people who are paid um, will only see this. So let's just try that. Let's hit update. I believe that this restrict short code uh, will be trumped by this paid only, but let's just take a look. Whoops, I'm on the wrong page. Ah, yes. So as you can see is I can't even access the awesome page because it is for paid members, members only. So the, that's not going to work. Obviously, you're not even gonna be able to get access to it uh, because the entire page is only for paid members, which is really cool. Um, show excerpt. If you're searching on a website or you have, you know, uh, blogs that have, uh, you have your blog archive, that is only accessible to members. This will show the excerpt only. So you know how you're reading a regular blog archive and you know top WordPress themes for uh, the month of June and it says check out these 16 great themes, whatever it might be. That's the excerpt. That's what entices somebody to click through to read that article. With this option, you can have it show the excerpt, but not the entire page or post. Um, and then hide from feed. 
uh, hide the excerpt of this post from uh, or page from the feed. You could drill it down to that. And then access level. Let's just take a look at this real quick. I'm not going to build an example for this because it gets kind of um, technical. But if we go to subscription level, you can see here in this freebie, I have access level of zero. And what you might want to do is give access, different access levels for different price points. So you might have a bunch of free plans that you give out or, or membership levels that you give out for free without having to charge somebody, but you give them different levels of access. And uh, within the post that we were editing, I'm sort of losing my way here. Let's go back to awesome page. <clears throat> uh, in that access level, we can assign which access level they, they have that can access this page. So that's really cool. Um, so what's the difference between access level and subscription level? Once again, you could say something like freebie is access. Uh, anybody with the freebie access gets access to this. Or, and then what you would say is anybody that has freebie with the access level of five uh, gets access to this content, which is really cool. Um, and then user level, maybe you're doing the whole roles thing and roles are an important part of your website uh, because of maybe another uh, feature that you have running on your website. For But I, I would say that most people um, aren't really locking it down to the user level. But who knows? If you wanted to, if you wanted to give the editor uh, access to certain pages that the um, blog publishers don't have or the blog contributors don't have, you could do something like that, which I think uh, is really cool. And... So these are the, the two different ways. You can do it inline content by using the restrict tag. Um, and you can do the, let's say, take a look at this view documentation, in fact. Um, I don't think I've ever looked through this one. So you could do something like restrict to user levels in the short code. So this is really, really neat. Um, I'm glad I pulled that up. So what we can do here is when this is just restrict by default, just the word restrict, it's just going to restrict it to the, the options that you have set up here. But it, for inline content, if you wanted to drill down to, to different subscription levels within the same page, I know this stuff starts to get a little technical, um, but let's just take a look at this example. You could say that these, these subscription levels are, uh, or these bits of content are restricted to these individual restricted levels. So I could do something like, you know, like this. Copy, paste. Oops, that's going to copy that in. Let's do this in the text editor. Paste that in. So I could say restrict, uh, restrict to subscription level three. I might close that. <clears throat> and then you could set these levels up for multiple levels within the same page. So let's say you have a master class, but you know, there's three different levels, gold, silver, or bronze. Bronze might only see one piece of it, but maybe there's a bonus video on the same page that only register that only gold members can see. You can wrap these tags around it, say that in this section, only the gold members see this video. That's so powerful. It's really awesome. It's a really awesome feature for restricting content. And as you can see here, there's a ton of different, uh, things that you can do with the restriction, uh, restrict short code, a lot of restrict words here. <laughs> There's a lot you can do on this page. So definitely, definitely uh, click on the view documentation link to see that. So again, this is setting up the content on a page or a post within your WordPress site and then restricting it to the different levels, the overview behind that. Uh, again, real quick, once again, you go and you set up your membership levels first, and then when people register, they select which one. One last thing that I want to show for restricting content is the uh, categories tab. Now, I'm going to actually I'm gonna leave that. I'm going to just hit update on this. Oh, I did click leave. No, no big deal. So one of the things that you can do, which I really like about Restrict Content Pro, is you can lock down an entire category, restrict an entire category. So I'm just going to hit edit on the benefits category. And what I'm going to say is, or what I'm going to point out here is, Again, we, we have almost the same amount of drill down that we had on the page or post as you can say, restrict this entire category to paid only. Um, what is the access level and for what subscription level? 
okay? So that means that anybody that tries to access your business category that you've decided to lock down because, hey, you feel that you've been blogging about business for years and you think that, hey, it's time for people to pay you a little bit of money to access this content, you can do that with this setting here. Uh, and that's how you lock down your categories. And again, same options as posts and pages. That's Restricting Content with Restrict Content Pro. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you do like the video, we'd love you to hit like, share with friends, family, and anybody else. It's PluginTut.com. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you in the next video.